Guys are playing Fallout 3. It's Roulette Riot. D-Mark's in the thing. I'm backslash. Our uh, program wasn't working, so... Oh, yeah. Um, that's fine, right? Oh, what do you want your name to be? I don't know. Um, it's your, your call. Uh, so what is your objective this week? So my objective is to get the Zhuan Long Assault Rifle. <laughs> okay. okay. Zhuan Long Assault Rifle. Um, this is Roulette Riot. You know what to do. I was telling everybody our stream program broke, so we have to do it a little bit more goofy here. Um, so just get ready to not really see it. You know, we're trying to keep it on time. You guys practicing speed running? I know. Nobody can hurt you because you're a wee baby. Not even trying with that name? Yeah, you know me. Um, anyway, so his goal is to get the Zhuang Assault Rifle, which I have completely forgotten how to do. Yeah. But I've already given you the go-ahead that it's absolutely okay to do it. All right, so let's think about what I'm going to need. I think... So we're going to go some classic endo, some classic intel. Um, I don't really need strength on any exception. Uh, let's go for... Also, my timer doesn't start until I'm done making it. Uh, yeah, I know. Yeah. 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 All right. Um, so we'll start here. Then we're going to up a gel luck intelligence. Call it gel. Endurance. And then more luck, and then more intelligence, and then also more agility, and then also more intelligence. <laughs> and that seems pretty good. Yeah, that seems very good. Tag skills, lock pick, small guns, and speech. That speech is going to go into science, but otherwise looks good. <laughs> and yeah, I think we're good. Seems great. I can't wait for this exciting run. Um, ow, God. What do you need to do to get this raw long assault rifle? So the first thing that I have to do is... Well, the first thing I'm going to do, actually, kick is that card. Kick that card as hard as I can. I'm going to go to Megaton. Is it, is it the one Jury Street Mentor? Yeah. So Can't I have you to just walk there? No, because I have to go to the Museum of Technology first. Oh, okay. Because there's a whole there's a whole unmarked quest that's associated with it. Oh, it's that one we do Prime. Yeah. That's hard. It's not this, hard. This is too hard. I, it's not hard, but it's just it will. Don't even do it anymore. It, it, it will take some time for sure. I think Science and Lockpick are going to help me out and. Probably. Uh, Daddy's boy seems pretty good. It'd be funny if um, intelligence here like changed what you were able to pick for prime numbers. Actually, you know, I, I, I don't think Sifter is gonna come up. We'll take Daddy's boy. Um, yeah, that would be kind of funny. <coughs> no, so my my plan is the first thing I have to do is well, we lost sound. There we go. No, it's just quiet. Um, my first plan, first part of the plan is I'm gonna quick. Uh, hop over to Megaton over here mm -hmm. to get the um, vault armor because I don't really have any armor. I don't really have time to stop by and grab some. Right. So that's a, that'll be good enough to start. Let me ask this. Have you, ever, have you ever played this game before? Which game? This would be Fallout Triple. Um, um, Fallout Triple? Yeah, trip dipple as we call it. Uh, uh fall, 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 fall out, fall out, fall out of what? Why would that be the question? Fall out of something three times? Uh, no, I've never played this game before. I definitely don't need to ignore this guy because I don't want to talk to him at all. I was really tempted to actually um to try and get Leo's chems too because mm -hmm. he's got quite a bit of stash. But right. I think I'm gonna try doing it without it first. Mm -hmm. Why would you? Because you're worried about getting hurt. Well, I think there's some stim packs in there, and like psycho and some medex, so like stuff that's always pretty useful to have on hand. Now, what yeah. might surprise you, folks, is that I'm making I, I'm making all this up because I've never played this game before. Yeah, now, this is your first time ever playing it. Goodbye. I'm just Fallout. Here for in some the name things. refers to nuclear Fallout, and that's just a game theory. Mm -hmm. In case you're wondering. Oh shit! I have the tunnel snakes outfit though. Yeah, of course. Also, we definitely have music if you play right now. Yeah, I'm surprised it's so quiet. No, I think we actually turned... Um, You're not playing it. I think we turned it down. Don't touch the audio. No, I thought we turned radio down. That's no, why you're I was literally not playing the radio. Well, hey, Conrad. Order of the Federal nice. And it works. That's even better. Um, yeah, so we tried to... Uh, people in the stream were asking. We were trying to upload um, our video for oh, Come On, Just Try how, It. That's how you get Leo stuff. And uh, it got copyright flagged and no one in America can watch it. Even though it was not monetizable, you still can't even watch it. Yeah, I don't know. We'll figure out something as far as yeah, that goes. We just won't play music next time. I mean, that, that's that's what you have to do, right? I mean, we could probably play music on the stream and just not have it go on the YouTube channel. Which I wouldn't know how to do. I think there's a way. 
But I think you should be able to isolate Spotify or YouTube or whatever as its own different audio source. Right. Compared to everything else. Well, if you're some kind of genius, then yeah, I bet you could do that. So my plan. So to get the Zhuang Long Assault Rifle, I have to go to the Museum of Technology, which I think feel like was. So, so we the thing we talked about last time with Tom C doing um, Fallout is that we balanced all of our objectives around being like level five or ten. Yeah, we are not. I am not that. <laughs> I'm only level one. So I wanted to do I wanted to do this game and I wanted to do something that was how many stim bags do I have? I probably should have bought some. Well, that's uh, not bad. That's all right. Yeah, that should be enough. Yeah. Uh, I want to do something that would be um, challenging. Especially with the addition of the riots, but also not impossible. So, since the Museum of Technology is a starter dungeon anyway, it's like pretty, pretty low level. Um, you can go right there from the start and be pretty okay. Mm -hmm. I figured that would be challenging enough. It takes some time to go through, and then I have to backtrack to Jury Street Metro after I'm done with that. So, I thought it would be a fitting challenge. Yeah, that'd be a little bit of fun. No, it, it honestly probably the best challenge ever done on the show. It sounds like it. I'm really yeah. low on ammo for this gun, I think. Yeah, you have thirteen three here. Thirteen three. Okay, that's all I thought. Actually, now you have twelve two. My mistake. Huge mistake. Well, hopefully we'll find more later. So tell. So you've been enjoying Far Cry Five. Uh, I haven't been enjoying it super a lot, just because I bought it on Easter Sunday, as our Lord would have wanted. Right. And then... I thought you bought it before then. No, I, I'm pretty sure I just bought it on Sunday. Okay. But... I'm pretty sure I bought this then. I bought it on Sunday, and it didn't work because my um, graphics driver was not up to date. Oh, yeah, we talked about this on Sunday. So it, like, freaked out. You're right, dog. And it was, like, not loading, and I was very frustrated. I was like, I don't want to fucking have to return this game. <laughs> but luckily, I didn't have to, because it, it works now that I got my driver's all, all updated and shit. It works now that I got my driver's license. But I really only have the, um, I really did the prologue. I just got to the point where, like, it's going to let you do stuff. Yeah. So. No, I, am I alone when I say Ubisoft games lose replayability after about an hour? But I mean, I liked Far Cry 3. Um, I, I never played 3. I've played. You played Blood Dragon. I played Blood Dragon. I played. Um, I don't know. Um, I played Blood Dragon. I played two. Two is my favorite. Um, two is good. Both in terms of like the one I played and also just like theme and stuff. Right. It's also super fun to hit zebras with cars. I mean, that's true in real life too. Yeah. Um, now we know what's more. I mean, it's going to come up. Yeah. So, because basically in, th in three, you had to basically make your own fun. And I think that's probably it's the same case with five, except there's probably more ways to make your own fun in five. Well, five at least is like. Uh, okay, hang on one second. Uh, I'm waiting. I was trying to mole back to light. All right. Uh, can there be some? Can there be a gun in here, please? I was about to say somebody's got somebody's got pistol rounds in their desk. Um. Yeah. So I just got done with the prologue. And I am about to go out in the world and start fucking people shoot up. Right. It sounds like fun. My problem is, guys at home, I just got a PS4 again, and now I'm replaying Bloodborne because the Hearthstone uh, new expansion reminds me of Bloodborne too much. So I had to play Bloodborne, which I'm enjoying greatly. But I also bought a the, the PS4 I bought because I want to play Monster Hunter, which I still do want to do. Um, but I haven't gotten around to buying it because I knew I wouldn't have much time to play it. At this point, so I'm um, I'm kind of in between games. Yeah. But, but what I actually mean is I'm in between gaming and not gaming. Uh, Monster Hunter is very very good, says Zenon. I've heard it was great. Um, now here's my here's my big question about it, right, folks? You're getting you're getting butt bumped. Yeah. Um, would I have a worse experience if I tend to play by myself? I know what you're saying is I might need to like meet up with other players to fight things, but I I I, I uh, you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm not playing in like a, a group. I'm not gonna they're have. Like, they're probably like raid level monsters. That yeah. Have to like fuck up. I'm not trying to like make new friends in Monster Hunter, right? I'm not doing that. I don't care about anyone who's playing Monster Hunter besides myself. And matter of fact, you can get rid of most of that sentence. 
I don't really care about anyone but myself. I care about Mike. <laughs> I don't care about. I, mean, I only care about elves, right? Well, that's important. Dude, I really want to watch Lord of the Rings again, but I can't convince my girlfriend to do it. Really? Yeah. So like, I keep like reading fun lore and shit about like Lord of the Rings. I'm like, this sounds cool, but then I'm like, you want to watch Lord of the Rings? Cause I'm not gonna watch a movie by myself. Forget it. Yeah. I have shit to do. And so she's over, like, gonna watch fucking six hours of Top Chef, which is fine. But I'm like, can we, you want to watch three hours of this fucking? See, that's what I always say to people: is it's just like, you'll watch, you'll watch ten hours of fucking Great British Bake Off, but you can't sit down for <laughs> three hours of this fucking movie I want you to see. Three hours is tough. I'll tell you what, but um, oh, I'm reading this thing real quick. I mean, if you do Bloodborne stuff, okay, you should be fine most of them. Okay. You can drop in to do hunts with other people without needing to talk to them or anything. That sounds like the plan for me. Do I? Okay, here's question two. Do I ever get to the point in that game where I'm so powerful that I can kill big bosses extremely easily? Because that's the thing about Dragon's Dogma, which I liked, was that at a certain point, like, you start the game and you're like, wow, chimeras are rough. I can't do anything about this. To the point where you can kill them in, like, one hit. <laughs> I don't want to play Bloodborne and Monster Hunter with you. I'm definitely not playing Bloodborne with you, all right? For sure. That's a single-player game only. Monster Hunter will talk. But anyway, and it's not like I even care about movies, but, like, I feel as though now I'm smart enough to absorb Lord of the Rings. Ow. That was unfortunate. Oh, God, it's a possessed bear. No, I wanted the water. Water. If you go back to low-level stuff, you kill it real quick. Good. Because I like grindy games, too. I, li I like games where you have to just sit there and, and get her done, you know? You yeah. know what I mean? You level up and you become a strong man, and, you know, internet strong man. And, uh, yeah, I'm open to it. I want to get it, but I it's probably still 60 bucks for it to suck dicks. But anyway, there's not enough time in the day for video games. Hmm. I think I got the wrong uh, metro stop. I'm going to take another train. Um, but, yeah, no. Because, like I said, I feel like I can... I can yeah, I can absorb the Lord of the Rings. I can be a guy who watches that shit. You know what I mean? Someone who's like a, a real a real nerd. Real nerd. A yeah, real Lord of the Rings is very good. You don't really need to watch The Hobbit, though. Hobbit, like, uh, yeah. Good. You may, uh, uh, keen eared <laughs> listeners will notice I didn't mention <laughs> The Hobbit. Uh, Mill Your Survive is already 50% off. That's curious. I'd recommend watching some videos on different weapon types to figure out the ones you want because each weapon is basically a class. Love it. Just look at this stud. I I will look at it after I get a chance to do so. Uh, speaking of that, it's been 10 minutes, so y'all dogs want to donate 100 bits to do a roll because this is Roulette Riot as much as everyone has forgotten. Uh, as much as everyone has forgotten. Everyone. So, uh, 100 bits, you get to spin the wheel, and you get to goof all over D-Marks. Um, he is not prepared to be goofed on. No. I would say that's accurate with my current uh, predicament. Uh, whoops. Looks like Doug is getting on the train. Did I know what he's doing? Doug, this is going to be a, trucks, a, a, trucks, a truck exercise. Truck simulator. For me to you, because you're not going to be able to see the wheel on today's episode. So here we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna spin this bitch and you're gonna love it. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. I've ruined the wheel forever. Is, do, don't talk yourself to mistrust now. Okay. Clamp. What happened to you? Well, I'm out of ammo, which is an issue. Yeah, I can see a big issue. Alright, here we go. Do you want increased volume? This this is a this is a college fuck fest. Alright, here we go. Spin the wheel for Doug. That landed on lucky number seven, which is one. First roll, first riot. Can you pause the game for just a brief moment for me? That's not okay by my values. All right, we're going to find out what that objective is. That's a first for socks on hands. Yeah, for some reason, that's the first time we've got socks on hands. They'll start the next episode. Great job, Doug. You're killing it every day. Um, you're professional um, fucksmith. But I don't want to be going north. I want to be going south. This is a classic example of somebody getting... Screwed up by the government's metro system. It's turning the frogs gay. It happens, right? But anyway. So, no, yeah. Guys at home, I had to look at the new place that I'm possibly getting. The new Sun Station. Sun Central Station. 
Uh, it was very nice. Um, has a big ass basement, which I'll use for macaroni art and um, storing my macaroni storage. Your, your macaroni farts. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Um, and uh -huh. it, it does have a really. It, if you thought the other place was haunted, this place is haunted for sure. The drive there is like through just trees, and then the actual road to it is like unpaved. Like, it was trodden by cows who were also uh, ghosts. It's, like, ridiculous. Cow ghosts, you say? Yeah. The, you know, it's a new level of spooketry. But uh, it, it's by itself, which is nice. Yeah, that's nice. I mean, it's, it's like, maybe 50 yards to another house. Not far. But, uh... I mean, that's what we have now. It's still pretty nice. Yeah. But, like, if I went outside, people would definitely look at me. Because, one, I'm a star. But, two... Um, okay, can you guys chill out for one? You run faster with your weapon holster. I just need to get any kind of gun. I also want to read what this says. Southbound. Tenley's down, town. Tenley Town. The other one's town. Friendship. Is, the other one's Friendship. I don't want to go to Friendship or Tenley Town. <laughs> That's, that wasn't so good. Um, did you get in the right entrance? Yes. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure. It's not a stim packs. You know, let's let's not be dumb. Let's not be dumb here. Yeah, I think this is the right way to go. I'm the vault renegade. This is your Chevy Chase. All right, hold on a second. Everyone, just shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay, interesting. What's the challenge of what are the what are the riots? Okay, so far. Uh, <laughs> Wait, what was the question? Uh, what's the challenge and what's the riot? So his challenge, because Scrab just joined. Oh. Hi, Scrab. It is uh, <laughs> the riot. Yeah, socks on hands, you riot. And his goal is to get the Joao Long assault rifle, um, which is going to be hey, don't mind not as easy as you might think. This is a clever move here. Uh, no, wait. I need to see what you have for that. So I need some 10 millimeter rounds. Um, is that Tom C getting his mail? No, it's going to be like that, though. So it kind of has like kind of a... Uh, a compound esque like group of mailboxes, which I'm not into, because that for sure that's how you get Amazon packages stolen, for sure. Um, but uh, it's like a road, and there are like three houses along it, so it, it's going to be a little bit wacky. But um, I can't. I, I'm very excited for it. Good hunting. I'm very excited for it. Here's here's the thing that I'm going to like the most about it. It's going to have all my stuff in it. Mm. And I like all my stuff. That's why I bought it. <laughs> That's where I'm at. Yeah, so I, I didn't buy anything I don't like. Oh, guys at home, how about this? You want to talk about uh, shilling? I, I'm, I'm like, selling, like, all my shit. Not all of it, but I'm going to sell a good amount of stuff. Um, if you guys want to buy any of my shit, let me know. I'll give you a good deal. I'm not going to... This is not going to be let go prices or Craigslist price to, to, to my fans at this stuff. <laughs> it's going to be, like premium prices that you love <laughs> premium prices we have 12.99 for 3.99 premium what well, premium no, prices are crap <laughs> i have video games that i could send to you i have uh, strategy guides for video games here's the deal anything how much for that ncr flag interesting now we got a ball game i honestly Love this NCR flag. Uh, that would be hard, I think, for you to part with. It would be hard for me to part with. I don't even know where yours is. Where Do you remember, do you remember where yours is? Yeah, it's in my closet. Oh, is it? Okay. Yeah, I know exactly where it is. <laughs> See, that's my problem. There might not be a great place for it. Um, did the Come On Try It episode get copyright claimed? Um, it did get claimed, unfortunately. Um, I'm interested in a bid war for the NCR flag. I wonder what people would legitimately want to pay for that. Because honestly, I love this flag. It's one of my favorite possessions. It's pretty cool. It's We got it at... Uh, Otacon. Otacon one year. Someone had actually made them. Um, and they're very, very cool. How much would anyone actually pay for this? We paid a surprisingly large amount. I think we only paid 20 bucks. We paid 50 bucks. Really? Yeah. That, that Yeah, that actually does sound right. Yeah. Um, which was not a bad price for it, to be honest. I, I don't regret that one bit. Um, <laughs> one bit. <laughs> 20 bucks without shipping. That's going to be a no for me, Doug. I want a Mozambique flag, to be honest. I, I respect that. Um, wow, this is a real fuck test. You look like a fucking nerd. Yeah. Um, 
The only thing I know about Mozambique is their great Mozambique drill. There's Chinese ones on eBay. Well, there you go. Anyway. So, uh, yeah, no, so, like, I'm, I'm like, gonna sell a lot of shit, just because, like, moving stuff sucks, dude. Yeah. Like, you're lucky, because I feel like most of your stuff is still in boxes. <laughs> That's not true. But, like, I, I tend to spread mine out with a, you know, like, how, like, disease spreads, in a way. Hey, stop it. <laughs> stop living. That's true. My flight could be signed by the sun, so enjoy that. Won't be Good. Now I'm out of stim packs and all the ammo I just bought. <laughs> but you are alive. And you get crisps. Um, but anyway, yeah. Do, do you guys like uh, value? Do, do you like value? I'm selling a TV, which uh, there's no chance that anyone could get because it's extremely heavy. I'm not going to ship it. But if anyone uh, lives within 100 uh, miles from me and wishes to... Yeah, Friendzone might need a TV. Friendzone does not need a TV. Uh, but Friendzone, if you want a TV, let me know. It's like I'm, I'm, I'm seriously selling it for like 50 bucks. Uh, I have a mini fridge, which I would sell for 10 bucks probably. Let's get it out of here. Get this fridge out of here. Get this fridge out of here. I want to move this fridge. Um, how much to send you an NCR flag to be signed and sent back? I would do that if you just paid me shipping, because I don't really feel like paying to ship you a thing back. <laughs> I just don't. Don't. I mean, I'll do. do. I'll do the signing absolutely for free, but I don't feel like shipping it back. That's a deal, guys. Cause I, I got I got hard fucked by UPS the other day. Oh really? What happened? Oh dude, so I sold shit on eBay, which was great, and I was like, "Are you selling stuff so you don't have to move them?" Yes. So I was like, sweet, I'm going to sell this shit on eBay. So I got some good money for shit. And I was like, all right, there's a UPS store right near me. So I'm going to go do that. And they're like, okay. So this thing you sold for 50 bucks is going to cost $26 to ship. I said, huh? Why? Why is that? And they're like, that's just how much it costs. I'm like, okay. Why is that how much that costs? I'm like, it just is. I'm like, oh, okay. And the other thing... Oh, no. That's why I fucked up. Why, why'd you fuck up? Oh, because I don't normally go this way. That's why. Yeah. I decidedly do not go this way when I'm doing <laughs> this. Anyway, short version. I just ship $135 worth of items for $40. Which blue dicks. Because, um, like, EBA is like, here's your uh, USPS shipping costs. You know what? <laughs> um, which I was like... Uh, and then, are you saying stuff my stuff into an envelope so I don't have to move it? Because that's kind of funny. But uh, no. So I, I, what I learned was to never go to UPS. Because there's no excuse. It was getting shipped to California. I get it. But like twenty six dollars to go to California, your truck's already going there. Come on. Come on, dudes. Just just let it let it sketch off the back. It's already broken. Hey, bud, just let it sketch. Come on, let, we're going sketching, dog. Hey, come on, let's sketch. Um, Please, just let it just, sketch. Just let it whip, child. Anyway, I'm telling you, I can't wait until we have lasers that shoot my parcels across the nation through uh, light power. You're not really, you're not giving me anything back here with my great ideas. Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm. Is I'm this just... distracting to your incredibly difficult mission that you didn't think would be as hard as it is? It's not even that that difficult. It's just I forgot. I forgot how the layout of this area works. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's it's been a while for you since you played this, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because I thought I could just I thought there was a straight line just from uh, the West Farragut Metro to uh, the one that has the place that I'm going to. This is legitimately like how I actually navigate the subways. I'm like, I think I'm supposed to take the D, but then it looks like B or orange is what I want. Anyway, guys, that's the end of this episode. We're going to see you on the next episode of Roulette Riot. He's going to get some socks for his hands. See you.